Did you know that you can host audience Q and A's in your Google Slides presentation? Let me show you how. Go ahead and find a presentation that you want to open up. So I'm here on Chrome and I've opened up my presentation. And normally you would just do a slideshow. You would present your slideshow, go through your slideshow. And in the end, you do a reflection and ask any questions. We're not going to do that. What we're going to do is, you know, the little drop down menu, click on the little drop down menu and do presenters view. So I'm going to go ahead and do presenters view. When you are doing your presenters view, you have access to what is known as audience tools. So let's go click here on audience tools. And then what you can do is you can start a new Q&A session. So I'm going to go ahead and click on my Q&A, start a new Q&A. This opens up a, a dialogue here and it gives you a link to the Q&A page. Now, let me go back to my presentation. You can see here, look, it says ask a question at slides.app.goo.com. Uh, GL of Google basically and then forward slash and then this is the code this is the code presentation code for the Q&A now this is unique to every presentation so let me just put my presenters view on to my dual display here I'm just going to put it over there ask a question at slides dot google and forward slash whatever that link is as the audience is presented the link they can use a smartphone a tablet a computer whatever personal device to go ahead and ask that question so let's go ahead and use my phone I'm going to copy this link. Uh, if I'm sitting in the audience, I'm going to go ahead and type this in my browser. So here I'm just using Safari. And now here it's going to load up this Q&A page and then I could go ahead and, ahead and ask a question. So let's say pretend I was on a uh, slide here about me or, you know, this design principles. I'm going to ask here, what are the design principles or what do you mean by whatever? Let me ask a question here. Okay, now here's the thing. I don't, I don't feel comfortable that I want to share that question in a large audience. So I'll, you have the option to ask anonymously and that way the presenter or the room doesn't know who's asking that question. I'm going to go ahead and submit. Now that question is asked anonymously. Now I can see this question here that pops up in my presenter view. It says, what do you mean by visual communication? Now, while I'm going through the presentation, I can have a look quickly, have a glance at my presenter view to see all the questions coming in. Let's go ahead and ask another question. So I'll log into a different profile. I'll ask a question um, okay, about me page. And then I'm going to say here, do you need, must you have? Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and, well, I don't need to ask anonymously. I can go ahead and submit that. And now I can see the person's name has popped up who's asked the question. Now, let's say that this person likes the first question or whatever, they can upvote certain questions. And then what you can do is, you can see the questions that have the most upvotes, they're gonna be the most popular questions, and then you can go ahead and address those questions. Now, whether you wait to the end of your presentation to answer Q and A's, or you know, through the middle or an intermission or whatever in your presentation, you can start answering the question. Now, how do you answer the questions? This is the brilliant part. You can select the question and just press on present, and then it will come up on your presentation. Everyone will see that question. Here it's obviously by anonymous, which is you know good, because this person ain't gonna be embarrassed. Would you be my visual communication? Now you can go ahead and address that question. Let's say you've got a whole bunch of questions coming in, so I'm gonna go ahead and ask another question here. Just quickly go ahead and submit. Obviously, you know, I'm just asking random questions. Now, when I'm ready that my presentation, when my presentation is over, obviously I want to close out the Q&As. I can go ahead and close out Q&As. And this is what's going to happen to your presentation and what the audience is going to see as well. So if I close this, now what's going to happen is the link to the Q&A disappears and on, the, on your participants' devices, it's going to say, sorry, the Q&A session is closed. Um, and basically no one's allowed to answer any more questions. That's great because now what you can do is you can go through all of your questions and you can start answering your questions. Okay, let's say the presentation is done, you've presented, you haven't had a chance to go through all of the questions for your Q&A session. No worry, this is what you need to do. Let's go ahead and close out the presentation. So now my presentation is over. I haven't had a chance to go through all of the questions in the Q&A, but that's okay. No worries, all you need to do is click on tools and go to Q&A history. And then you'll see all of the Q&As here. So I've done this a few times. And then it says here, look, anonymous, anonymous. This is from you know this participant. And so you can go ahead and start addressing all of these uh, questions. What you could do is you could send out a corresponding email to all of the participants in, in that meet or you could address them directly to those who've asked questions that are not anonymous. Give it a go yourself. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one.